Hello everyone, this is M. Allen West of FlashCadaver.com and today I'm going to make a part two comparing Blender 2.79 and Blender 2.8 which is still currently under development so some of these features may change. So in a previous video I was talking about how if you hit this plus icon at the top you could actually go into scripting mode. Um, you could actually do the same thing in 2.8 Seven, nine, where there was actually a drop down menu and you could go up here and you could select scripting or you could go back to your default and of course there was also uh, game logics available here at the top which I may get into later so basically you would have uh, different setups that you could go into and different screen layouts but in the current version uh, 2.8 that's coming up um, once you open up this little drop down and select a new workspace, the workspace will actually create a new tab. So it's not like you're actually changing your current workspace to a different style of workspace like in the previous version. You're actually opening up a completely new tab which you'll have to close out if you end up having too many tabs open up here at the top. Uh, some people might like that, that way they can quickly wor work between different types of layouts. Uh, it'll probably be pretty handy for uh, most serious work that people do in this. Um, there are some other features that they had removed. I mentioned earlier that they had removed layers and they had replaced it with collections. Now if you hit M on your keyboard in 2.8 it'll actually bring up this collections so you can add a new collection. In 2.79 if you hit your M key it'll actually bring up your layers. So some of the hot or the keyboard shortcuts have actually changed in the upcoming version. I don't think that there was a whole lot of changing to the keyboard shortcuts, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how much of that they have actually changed by the final release. Um, There's some other cool things that they've added. For example, if you go into overlay in 2.8, you can actually turn off the 3D cursor, so you don't need an add-on to do that anymore. You can see in the center of the cube when I click this that the uh, 3D cursor will actually turn off and turn on. So that's pretty cool. And you can also change or turn on and off the grid floor down in the overlays, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of uh, nice little features they've added there. And one of the things that I've noticed is I had this file that I was trying to convert over into cycles. Now this is a uh, project I was working back in uh, 2014 so it's a four-year-old project but I decided I was going to go ahead and change the materials from Blender Renderer over to Cycles and I've got a few different examples of what it may look like by the time I'm finished um, I'm not really sure about the current color of the bullet tip because in my original version I made back in 2014, I actually liked that copper color a little bit better. But anyhow, the point being is, is whenever I tried to open that up in 2.8, it crashed it every time, which I'm sure they'll get that fixed by the final release. But some of the uh, problems are probably connected to the different types of modifiers I have applied and I know that there are certain modifiers which are currently still broke so another thing I've noticed is if you go into edit mode in 2.8 I haven't been able to find any subdivide over in the side here in 2.79 I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file and if you went into edit mode there was different things over here at the side like subdivide which I haven't found 
this yet in 2.8. I'm assuming that they just haven't added it back in. The only way to really do it right now, which I wouldn't really suggest it because it's just going to make it crash if, if there's an error, is you could copy code from 2.79 and you could go over into 2.8 if you wanted to subdivide this cube as long as you're in edit mode. You could open up uh, the Python console and control V to paste it and press enter and it'll actually subdivide the cube so you could press up on your keyboard press enter press up and you could keep on subdividing the cube like that but as far as I can tell there's not actually a subdivide key available over here at the side so hopefully they'll add that back because that's pretty convenient having that over there but I don't know if they're planning on doing that or if they're going to put it somewhere else. Another thing that I've noticed is there hasn't really been any changes to uh, object data, which I know that not a lot of people use object data, but it's actually pretty handy. Most people probably clicked on it and not even sure exactly what it does, so I'm going to give you an example of what it does even though it, it's, it hasn't been changed in 2.8. So in 2.79, if we go into edit mode, well, first off, we're gonna add an, a, a shape key. If we go into uh, add another shape key and go into edit mode, and then I select these two vertices, and then go back into object mode, you can see that the cube basically change back to its original state and it only it only appears that it has because each one of these keys hold a different state of this object so if I increase the volume I mean I'm sorry increase the value you can actually see that the object's shape changes to once I go up to 100% it changes to the shape that I originally changed it to earlier. So it's handy for example if you were putting bones into your character and you wanted your character to be in a default state when you're putting the bones in but you wanted another state available where it's posed so you could do stuff like that. It's pretty handy like I said it's it's a feature that not a lot of people are aware of and I would highly recommend reading up on this and I may actually do a video showing how each one of these work. Um, I've been using Blender for a pretty long time. Whenever I used Blender it was even before the current um, UI layout so I might cover some of the stuff that I've experimented with in um, previous versions of Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file here and we'll go ahead and open up a new file here. So one of the other cool things that are available in Blender 2.8 is that say for example you shift D hit X or Y on your keyboard and then place the cube you can actually now select two objects at once and go into edit mode and edit both objects at the same time even though they're not technically part of the same object which is really handy. Um, the only thing that I've noticed that you can't do is you cannot bridge the two. So if I was to hit spacebar and I was to type in a uh, bridge and try to use the bridge loop tool that won't work because the only way to do that is if you had an object like this and then you tabbed into edit mode and then did a shift D along the Y then grab the vertices on each object and pulled it down then did control tab selected the faces for example and then did a spacebar typed in bridge and did the bridge edge loops and then you would basically increase your cuts. So unfortunately this you cannot 
use the bridge tool because they're still technically two different objects. But if you select both of them, you can go into edit mode and edit both of them at the same time, which is really, really cool. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, if you hold down on your left mouse button, there's different op options on some of these tabs over here. Different extrude options, there's different uh, spin options and uh, stuff like that that are available, which is pretty cool as well. And um, that's pretty much it. I'll probably make a third video if anybody wants to see that. And uh, happy blending. Take care. Bye.